Hi, this video gives a brief idea on how to use Scriptlet using Jaspersoft Studio. Basically, Scriptlet is a Jaspersoft term where one can write a Java program which can be used along with report generation event. In this video, we'll see how to take a value from the parameter and return the calculated result from Scriptlet. We'll also see how to deploy a report to Jaspersoft. For that, we have few steps defined here which we'll follow now. With respect to this demo, we'll take an example of converting a Celsius value to Fahrenheit. We'll take the Celsius value from the user while running the report and calculate the uh, Fahrenheit value using the scriptlet. Inside the scriptlet code, we'll have some abstract methods and variables, which we'll see shortly in Jaspersoft Studio. So going uh, straight to Jaspersoft Studio, you can see that there is already a code written here which um, is a scriptlet class having the name as testscriptlet.java. Inside the Java program, you can see two classes being imported. So to import this class first, we have to make sure that we have imported Jasper reports library into your project folder. So here I have imported Jasper report 6.3.5. So to implement a scriptlet, you have to extend JR a default scriptlet. This class exposes all abstract methods to handle the events that occur during the report generation. So here we have overriding. So here we are just overriding an abstract method after report in it. Inside this method, we can see that there is a function named get parameter value. This function takes parameter, which is the name of the parameter defined in Jasper report file. We'll store this value inside the variable known as called as value from param. Also, we'll have a custom defined function that is Celsius to Fahrenheit, which does the calculation of Fahrenheit, and it will return the value of Fahrenheit once we call this function. Now we'll just use we'll go a step further and create a JRXML file that is a Jasper report file. So we have an already uh, created file that is testscriptlet.jrxml. So as we open this file, you can see that this is the blank report with two bands, that is title band and summary band. So now first, what we'll do is we'll just associate uh, testscriptlet.class file to this jrxml file. So for that, we have an option in the jrxml report as scriptlets. So we'll just right click on scriptlet and click on create scriptlet. As you can see the name of the scriptlet as scriptlet underscore one. So this will default name. You can give whatever name you want, but as of now I'm just keeping as a default name. Next uh, you can put some description as well as um, uh, you can also now you can now um, just associate the class type test scriptlet to this scriptlet name. So here we are associating test scriptlet.java which is inside the scriptlet project folder. So just click on that and click on update. Okay, now we have done with associating the scriptlet to this JRXML report. Next, what we'll do is create a parameter which will take the value from the user. So we'll just click on create parameter and give the name of the parameter as Celsius. And also give the class type as double. Okay, next we'll have some text boxes added to this title and summary band to display some values. So in the title band, we'll just add title to this report. So we'll just say Celsius to Fahrenheit. Click on finish. We'll just copy this text box and use in the summary band. So here we'll display the Celsius value, which is given as an input from the user while running this report. So that value will be stored inside a parameter named Celsius. So we'll just display that parameter. Click on finish. We'll copy this text box and once more time 
and the spread of Adam his value. Then to associate with this by by eight. And we we'll just remove this parameter. And we'll call the function from the scriptlet. So for calling the function from the scriptlet, we'll just use the scriptlet name dot name of the function. So the name of the function is Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, so we'll just click on finish. Now we'll just uh, increase the font size of this text here so that it's more legible. We'll make it at 16. That's a decent size. Okay. Now we'll run this report to see the result. Okay, so it's asking for a Celsius value. So we'll just provide the value as 15. I'll just run the report. Okay, here it goes. Um, so we have the title bank. We have a um, header title as Celsius to Fahrenheit. We have a Celsius value as 15, which is provided at the time of running the report. And we have a Fahrenheit value, which is calculated as 59 from the scriptlet program. Okay, now we'll go to the presentation and see the steps. Okay, so we have followed all these steps and we have come and run the report and we have got the Fahrenheit value. So now we'll go next and deploy this report to Jasper Server. So for deploying the report to Jasper Server, before uh, that, we should associate the class file, which you have scriptlet class file to the Jasper Server so that it can recognize that class file and run the report. And uh, for that, what we'll do is we'll just have a class file added into a jar file so that Jasper Server can recognize the jar file while it's running the report. So for that, we'll use the command prompt to add the jar class file, or add our class to jar file. So if you can see that we have test scriptlet dot class file, which is a compiled class file. Now what we'll do is use this command and add this class file to a jar file. So we'll give the name of the jar file anything. My class dot jar and Class. Okay, we have added the class file once you can see by typing dir and you can see that the my class dot jar file is included. Now what we'll do is publish the report to the Jasper server. So for publishing the report Jasper server, we'll just click on publish and we'll select the repository server from the list of repository servers uh, which we already defined created. Okay, so it's bringing down all the repository servers. Okay, so we have this repository server, and we'll just go to a path for inside optimization report. I'll just, uh, along with the parameter and no data source, we'll just upload it to the server. Okay, here we got the message that it's success. Okay, now if we go to the repository explorer. And see that okay, the test scriptlet has been uploaded. But if you once you expand this test scriptlet, you can see that there is no jar file associated with this report. So what we'll do is just right click on this, click on new, and click the jar file option, and give the name of the jar file as for example test scriptlet. Click on next, and upload the file from your file system. My class dot jar and click on finish. As you click on finish, you can see that uh, it's being uploaded to this Jasper server. So now what we'll do is we'll just go to Jasper server, provide the credentials. And go to the path where we have the report stored. Okay, the report is stored here, so we'll just run this test triplet. Okay, there you go, it's asking for Celsius value, so we'll just provide the Celsius value and just run the report. Okay, the 
Celsius value is 15 and we have got the Fahrenheit value which is 59 which is calculated from this booklet. So, here go, uh, it goes how uh, to calculate to write a small triplet program um, with the help of Jaspersoft Studio. So, as we go to the presentation back, so we have done the steps, we have published the report to Jasper server, we have added the um, jar file to the report. So, we have a reference here, if you follow this link, you can uh, get some more uh, information on scriptlets, which you can just um, browse and work further on it. So, hope this um, video was useful and thank you for your time and patience.